begins in the most famous Indian school in the United States, the academic halls of Carlisle College in Pennsylvania, the year 1894. You wanted to see me, Proctor? You? You're a disgrace to Carlisle College in the Cherokee Nation. Look at this record. February 10th, caught opening a student's locker. April 6th, starting a class riot. May 12th, insubordination to your instructor. May 15th, fighting with a student on the athletic field. Cheating, lying, fighting, stealing. Carlisle has no room for you. Bill! No! Bill, let me go! Stop it, Bill! Bill, no! Let me go! Bill! Charles, the Indian agent of the Cherokee Nation in Oklahoma, dispatched a deputy to bring Bill back to the reservation. You know, Bill, I can't figure out what got into that Indian skull of yours. <laughs> Going after an important man like that college brat. It's none of your business. Besides, I wanted to get out of Carlisle. Well, let me give you a bit of advice. When you get back to the reservation, you better watch your step. We know how to handle bad Indians in Oklahoma. Maybe you or any other white man's going to tell me what to do. When I get you back to the reservation, I'm going to lock you up until you cool off. Margaret Jones was on the train when the deputy was stabbed. Anything that happens on a train is my business, especially murder. My name's Matt Clark, railroad detective. Hi, Hi Jonesy. You know Marshall Connors? Oh, I don't believe I do. How do you do, sir? How are you? Glad to know you. You're waiting just a minute. Say, by the way, how come you were on that train? Well, I thought I was on my way to Texas on that freight robbing case, but when Cherokee Bill bumped into me, I was detoured. <laughs> Say, uh, Marshal, Cherokee Bill comes around this part of the country, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He lived on the reservation with his mother till they sent him to Carlisle. Uh-huh. Is she still there? No. A couple of months ago, she married a man named Tom Lynch. Moved away to a small farm. Do you know where that farm is? Well, yeah. I don't know how to get her. In fact, I know where to get in touch with all the Cherokees around here. You see, Congress has just appropriated enough money to pay off the Indians with the Cherokee Strip. Yeah. How much are they getting? About $300 a piece. Of course, to an Indian, that's a lot of money. When do they get paid? In about two or three weeks. Then they'll have to move out of the Cherokee Strip, which will be open for homesteading. You know, it might be a good idea if we go out and have a little talk with Cherokee Bill's mother. Yeah, I was out there once, but there was nobody around. Maybe we'll have better luck this time.
This is your new father, Bill, Tom Lynch. Howdy, Bill. Better go outside and keep your eyes open for the law. You married a white man again. I thought you learned your lesson. That's the only way I could get off the reservation, Bill. But don't worry. I can always get rid of him. Get rid of one white man and there's a thousand more behind him. All my life they've closed me in like I was a horse or a cow. First on the reservation, then in school. And on the train, a deputy threatened to throw me into jail if I didn't... Dead. Forget him. From now on, any white man that gets in my way is going to wind up the same way that deputy did. I'm glad you came home, Bill. What do you mean? I've got an idea that'll make us all rich. The government is shipping money. Thousands and thousands of dollars to pay off our people for the Cherokee Strip. <sighs> and you figure we deserve more than our share. That's right. Those wagons will be guarded by cavalry. It's going to be tough. Not if you get enough men to help you. Jim Cook has the biggest gang in Oklahoma. I have already talked to him. Yeah. He's very interested for a large cut. Maybe you want too big a cut. That's something I'm sure you can talk him out of. Maybe I could. There's some riders coming up the road. Could be the marshal. Get to the barn. There's a team waiting for you. I'll show him. Come on. What do you want? We're looking for Bill. He's not here. Better search this place, Marshal. Yeah. Matt, there he goes. Come on, let's get him. No, you don't. Better put that shotgun down, lady. Or we'll have to take you in as an accessory. By that time, Bill will be safe. Well, you might have a point at that. What do you think, Marshal? <laughs> Get up. You're all through, Bill. I'm taking you back to town to stand trial for murder. <laughs> there isn't a prison maid that's gonna hold me. Yeah, you won't be there that long. There's a noose waiting for you. You know who's gonna try you, Bill? Judge Isaac C. Parker. All right, start walking. Go on. Fort Smith, Arkansas, April the 16th, 1895, the famous hanging judge of the West, Isaac C. Parker, set in judgment on Cherokee Bill, who was being tried for murder. The judge had sentenced 160 men to die on the gallows. Nobody knew whether or not Cherokee Bill would be the 161st. Crawford Goldsby, alias Cherokee Bill, you are a young man, yet you already have a shameful record at Carlisle College. Now you've committed murder. I have never shown mercy to a murderer. It's not the severity of punishment, but it's certainty that checks crime. If ever an outlaw deserved to be hanged, you deserve it. Yet because of your youth, and because this is your first offense, I will be generous. I sentence you to 45 years at hard labor. 
Court is adjourned. Oh, he's my here to have labor. Is that what you call being generous? Why did you hang them? And why don't you hang me too? Get Bill! this woman out of here. Bill! 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 Don't let them get you with me! Hot at it, Bill. <laughs> you know, you're gonna ruin those pretty hands of yours. Get blisters on them. <laughs> After you've done that for 45 years, there won't be a tree left in Oklahoma. All right, you. You can work faster than that. I'm Cherokee Bill. I just broke out of prison camp. Take me to Jim Cook. Jones and I were in Oklahoma City on a freight robbery investigation when Marshal Connor's wire reached us. The territory had been so aroused by Bill's escape that a $2,000 reward had been posted for his capture. Well, I'm sure glad you two got here so soon. Howdy, Marshal. This is the case we thought we had all wrapped up. Yeah, it was a short 45 years for Cherokee Bill. Yeah. Any trace of him at all? No, but we just picked up his stepfather, Tom Lynch. Oh. oh, I remember him. Charming character. What's the charge, Marshal? Selling whiskey to the Indians. I never sold no whiskey to Indians. I'd like to talk to him. Sure, right, come on over. Howdy, Tom. Remember us? Yeah. We'd like to ask you a few questions. I got nothing to tell you. I've been framed. That's what most of the men in jail say. How come your wife hasn't been around to bail you out, Tom? Where is she? All I know is she left the house early this morning. She didn't say when she's coming back. Maybe she's not coming back. She better not run out on me. Why not? That's my business. All right, if you don't want to talk, we'll put you up before Judge Parker. You might find yourself taking Cherokee Bill's place on the labor gang. Then on the other hand, Mr. Lynch, there's a $2,000 reward out for Bill's capture. Do you know what you could do with $2,000, Tom? Well, you could buy yourself a lot of real fancy clothes and live like a gentleman. Judge Parker might let you off if you talk. When will I get the reward? Just as soon as we lay our hands on Bill. Will you let me out of here as soon as I talk? Sure. As soon as we capture Bill, we'll notify you. You can come to the office and we'll give you the reward. Two thousand dollars cash. Two thousand dollars. All right. I'll talk. I'll tell you what I know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Doing around here. I told you I'd send for you when we got the money. I came to warn you, Bill. The marshal picked up Lynch. They would have gotten me too, but I saw him coming, and I hid in the cornfield. I don't care what happens to Lynch. You don't know Lynch like I do. He'll talk. Well, that's for marrying a white man. I left him for good, Bill. From now on, it'll be just you and me. After you get the money, I'll meet you in what is. But right now, you better get going. It's too late now. Look. Jim! You still have time. Get out of here. I'm not leaving. But they'll hang you.
tell the men to take the back trail. One by one. Why don't you go too, Bill? It's you they're after. Makes you think they're not after you too. They let me go once before when I tried to stop them from capturing you. Doesn't mean they'll let you go again. Please, Bill, go with Jim Cook's men. Please. Not yet. Bill, you must go now. You must. Jim Cook and his men will be waiting for you. I'll be all right. They don't want me. They want you. Now hurry! Go! Firing stopped. Let's take a look. Looks like they pulled that old Indian trick on us, sneaked out one by one. Too bad she had to have a son like Bill. Yeah. Come on. Marshal, where we were hiding. No, no, Bill, I didn't let you. Matt, do you really think Cherokee Bill will go through with this crazy notion of holding up the government wagon train? Yes, I do, Marshal, now more than ever. According to Lynch, his mother's greatest dream was to steal the pay off the Cherokee Strip. Ah, well, that money's escorted by U.S. cavalry. Now, don't forget he's got Cook's outfit with him. The largest gang of outlaws in the territory. Yeah. Well, I'd better organize a big posse. This is going to be a real battle. Wait a minute, Marshal. I think I might have a plan to save the lives of a lot of men. Where do you think that convoy might be now? Oh, about 20 miles north of here on the Canyon Road. Uh-huh. We ought to deter that wagon train through Box Canyon. What's the idea? When Bill and his men follow the wagons into the canyon, we'll be there waiting for them. You know, Matt, sometimes I think you're a genius. <laughs> Only sometimes, Jonesy. Look, I want you to ride out and meet that convoy. Tell the officer in charge exactly what we want done. I'll send the deputy with you. That's fine, Marshal. <laughs> Margaret Jones, railroad detective. It's a pleasure, miss. We found out the Cherokee Bill and the Cook Gang intend to hold up your convoy. My orders are to change your course. In what direction, miss? Through Box Canyon. We'll ride with you. They're changing their route. 
going through Box Canyon. That'll make it easy. We had no way of knowing as yet whether our plan would work. But I did know I could depend on Jonesy to complete her part in the overall trap. I said throw it down. All right, get going. Go on. It was a slaughter of the outlaws. Very few of Cherokee Bill's gang escaped alive. Jim Cook was killed and the rest of his men were either wounded, captured, or killed. Crawford Goldsbane, alias Cherokee Bill. The last time you appeared before me, I was merciful. Since then, you have killed again and again. You have even been responsible for your mother's death. My mother dead? I have never let a guilty man escape, nor an innocent man be punished. But I find you guilty. I sentence you to hang by the neck until dead. Cherokee sure, Bill, have you anything to say before you die? Before I die, a lot of men died bringing me here, Marshal. I'm sorry about that. Come on, let's get it over with. On March the 17th, 1896, Cherokee Bill took his last walk to the gallows in the prison yard at Fort Smith, Arkansas. Well, Matt, this time I'll guarantee that Cherokee Bill won't bring you detectives back again. You know, Marshal, I've been thinking about his career, short and violent, getting hanged when most men are just starting out in life. Yes, and he had such a good chance, too. Chance for a college education and make something out of himself. Well, yeah, that's true. Not many Indians get the opportunity to go to college. He could have learned to trade at Carlisle and made the Cherokees proud of him. Yeah. Well, Jonesy, I guess we'd better get started back to headquarters. Goodbye, Marshal. Goodbye, Jonesy. Matt, Go you've on. been a great help. Oh, uh, by the way, tell Pete Delaney to send me that $5.
No, you bet me we wouldn't catch Cherokee, Bill. <laughs>